Hey everybody, it's Chris Lode here, and in today's screencast, I'm going to show you an introduction to the app Scratch Junior, which is right here. So I open up Scratch Junior, and we'll eventually get to the page here where we can tap on the home button. And here I have a few projects in my um, in my in the different files, but I want to tap on the plus sign to create a brand new project. So I tap on that. Here's the interface for Scratch. The interface is, this is where uh, the program that you create will be executed. And over here where your characters are located, this is where the backgrounds are found. And this is where you're going to do all of your work. You're going to be dragging these blocks down into this area. And in this case, I'll be programming for the cat. And um, so this is where most of the work will take place, where you do, do the block-based coding. And up at the top, there's a bunch of icons that we'll talk about as we go through these screencasts. So the first thing uh, to notice is that over here, we've got uh, six different colored buttons. And when you click on these different buttons, so say if I click on the yellow one, I'll get my yellow blocks. And all of these blocks are the triggering blocks that will typically be used to start the sequence of code. And you'll notice that they have a rounded uh, left edge so nothing can be attached to them beforehand. So I'm going to drag the green block down. And so I'm going to have when I click on the green flag, I want my cat to do something. So we tap on, I'm going to tap on the blue motion blocks. All of these are different types of motion. And I'll just drag down a uh, move to the right command and tap on the number there and I'll be able to put in maybe I'll go six to the right and just so you know there's no units of measurement um, typically the screen is about 20 wide and I think 15 uh, high so if you uh, uh, you can use some proportional reasoning with your kids uh, if you let them know that so anyways, I'm going to tap on, I can tap on this green flag if I want, or on this one. By tapping on this one, you would only execute this uh, sequence of blocks. You would not start the whole uh, program. So get into the habit of using this one uh, as we start. I tap on that, and my cat moves six to the right. If I tap on this button, this will reset everything back to the beginning positions. All right, so... Uh, you can explore with these uh, blocks. These are up, down, left, right, rotate, uh, jump, and return back to the original position. Um, one thing to note is that if I use uh, the rotate uh, one, so I'm going to rotate my cat, uh, this number here actually would be, if I put in the number 6, you'll notice that um, I hit my green flag, it'll move six to the right, and then it will rotate six. This, if it, if I put in the number 12, it would do one complete rotation. And they did that and base it on the hours of the clock. So 12 would be a complete rotation around. All right, so reset back. Um, so this is the start of how you would execute a, uh, a um, or how you would begin and introduce a little bit about uh, the Scratch Junior app. Um, one other thing to note, I'm going to actually go back here to the home button. This brings me back to my projects page and just to point out up here there's a little book. If you tap on the book you will have three different or four different tabs at the bottom that you can use. This is this one, of course, is the interface guide, and it shows you all the different parts of the interface. So number one here um, is has been selected, and so this is the save the current project and exit the home page button. If I tap on say number seven, it shows me reset character and it gives me the details. So this is explains all what all the different buttons or all the different icons are on the screen. This is the paint editor guide, kind of a similar setup. As you can see here, number five would be the cutting tool. Uh, so um, this is can be used to edit uh, or create both characters and backgrounds. 
Um, there's a lot of neat features in there that are a lot of fun. And lastly, here down at the bottom are the blocks guide. And you can scroll down and you can see it gives a detailed explanation of what each block is uh, able to do. So that's a little bit of a handy reference tool. But if I want to go back to my projects page, tap the home button, and there I am. So a little bit of an intro to Scratch Junior. Hopefully this will help you get started with this fantastic app. Thank you.